Welcome to my channel y'all I am back working on another card tonight and I'm gonna try to catch up on all my cards and I need to get them sent out within the next couple of days um, but anyway I thought what I would do is these cute little cards I got at Michael's the other day I thought I would alter it a little bit and just kind of change it up make the card a little bit more fun um, if I could say that um, but anyway, I think that it's darling, but it's kind of flimsy. So I'm going to make it, I'm going to give it a little makeover is what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this apart. Okay. I'm going to go ahead, cut it apart. Save this. We can use this as the greeting on the inside. Okay. Remove that off my desk here. Give myself some space. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fussy cut this because I just want the Santa. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and fussy cut this. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I really, really appreciate it. I really, really do. I hope that everybody had a wonderful day. And, um, yeah, I was so busy at work today. It's real, real busy. But it's all good. I'm glad for the job. My mama used to say when I, she'd say, how was your day? I'd go, oh, mom, it was so busy. And she'd go, praise the Lord for the job. And I'd say, yeah, well, mom, I'm exhausted. You don't understand. And she'd just go, but praise the Lord for the job. The good job is what she would say. And I'd say, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful. So, okay, we're going to get all this. And we're going to keep the candy cane. And I kind of like the type that I don't like to, like, keep it on, like little pieces here or up in here without getting rid of the big parts. So I'm just gonna cut on around. Okay. Can I keep it up now? What would be super cute is if you decided to glitter his beard. But y'all, um, the only glitter I have is this one and I want the little skinny stuff. So I'm not gonna glitter this one, but maybe I'll do the next one. I'll have to get some white. I'm gonna kinda, kinda cut that part off. So there we go, we got our sweet Santa. Let me go right up in here before I forget. So yeah, thanks so much everyone for stopping by. I appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, I would love for your subscription. I am, I create all kinds of different crafts. And I'm not afraid to really try something. And um, sometimes it turns out, sometimes it don't. Okay, so there I got my Santa. Get rid of my trash here. Okay, so you're gonna have, you're gonna ha use the Santa. I'm gonna put that to the side. Okay, so I have this cardstock right, right here. And I pulled this out of my stash. It's the flat cards. These are A7 size, five by seven. And I thought what I would do is I would use this and I would use the stencil that I have. This is Holly Jolly. And I was just playing with it to see how I like it and I think I'm gonna like it. So I'm gonna utilize this. And I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna make, I'm gonna kinda go off my paper a little bit because it's gonna go off on this side too. So I think I'm gonna, I'm going to go like this, kind of line it up at the top, and then I'm going to add a little bit of washi tape on the sides just to hold it down. So we'll see how this goes. I don't want to cover up my, my stencil there. I'm just using this to just hold it in place. Let me get one more. Okay, let's see how that works. Okay, so the ink that I'm going to use is this one right here, 
Lumberjack Plaid, and it's a Tim Holtz um, uh, Distress Ink. So, there's all kinds of different inks, and y'all, I just use what I got, and it works. So, so all I, all I have is these little finger dauber things. I don't even know what they're called, but I think you can, you get my drift. So, I'm going to get my ink on here. I'm going to hold it down, and I'm just going to go for it. And the reason I put the paper underneath so it wouldn't get all over my desk again. And I'm just going to go until I have filled up my page. So anyway, I hope that everybody had a nice day tomorrow here in North Texas. We are expecting rain again. And I hear they were getting some snow up East Coast way. I wish that y'all would send us some. I don't want a blizzard, but I don't want to lose power, but I would love, love, love to have some snow. A white Christmas would be amazing. So what are y'all's plans for Christmas? Um, on Christmas, while I do this, I'm going to talk, y'all. On Christmas, our children always come over Christmas Eve. Christmas Day is to spend with their children. And they have other families, you know, the other side to spend time with as well. So, they come on Christmas Eve. I saw my grandson grandsons the other day and my youngest grandson said it's always fun at your house and my older grandson Carson he said we always have so much fun I'm glad they do so yesterday my husband and I we went out we had lunch with her with my one daughter and her two kids and then we went to um did a little more Christmas shopping and it was fun. We had a great time. We were tired when we got home. So last night I worked on some more um, tumblers. I wanna, I'm gonna getting ready to package up a box for my sister. So I'm trying to make sure I get it down in these letters. I know that you could probably do this number, but I kind of like dabbing it. So, but if you like it the other way, you do you, and I'll do me. Okay, almost there. And I add a little bit more, and then we're going to have to finish the, move it down a little bit is what we're going to have to do. So, yeah, we went Christmas shopping, and then we went to this Asian grocery store. I always like going, because y'all, if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, my husband, AKA Mr. Crafty, is from the Philippines. So we always have to like stock up on rice and things like that. It, you know, he likes to eat. Now granted, him and I have been married 39 years, so he eats all kinds of American food, but he loves it when he gets a little bit of Filipino food in the mix. So, okay, so let me, See, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to move it down just so I can get the bottom. We're going to peel this and put this stencil off. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? And I'm just going to, I think I'm going to just move it up. And I'm going to try just to keep it taped. Then I don't have to totally pull it up here. So I'm going to try to see if I can line this up. And I know it's sideways. So, just got to go a little bit more. But yeah, we had a great time. So what are your traditions on Christmas? I would love, love to hear from it. Um, like I said, our children come over on Christmas Eve. And about five years ago on Christmas Eve, instead of making like a traditional turkey and ham and whatever, one year we did steaks and we grilled and all that and then um 
one year we did fajitas. We'd go to the Mexican meat market. It's real close to our house and the meat is marinated and it's delicious. And so that's what we would do. And our kids loved it. So um, my granddaughter requested it this year again. Okay, so let me get this off. Pull this up and see, there you go. I have a little bit right here that's okay. I can cover it up. Now I'm just going to leave this here so I can wash it when I'm done. I'm going to grab a little wipe here or some kind of towel. Get the ink off my hands. Let's see if I can get it off so it doesn't smear all over my card. So anyway, we will have our kids over on Christmas Eve. Okay, so now what I'm going to do while this dries... I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of eight and a half by 11 and I'm going to just fold it in half and just want to make sure that I have it nice and straight. I like my creases here to be nice and pretty and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to layer this down. Now granted these came of course with like this white background so I, I like to think that we're kind of stepping it up a little bit is what we're doing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. Let me just make sure. Feels like it's dry, we'll find out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of, of tape all along the edges. Use your choice of what you would like. Now the stencil itself, I got it from when I went to the, to the Scrapbook Expo, and I can't even remember the booth that I got it from, but there's all kinds of stencils all over, oops, you get up here, there's all kinds of stencils all over, you know, scrapbook.com and things like that. Okay, I kind of tore that paper, so I'm going to move this up just a little bit. Let me go like this. And, um, but anyway, we will have Christmas at our house. Now, my daughter said the other day, what about having, like, uh, we're going to do games. We like to do games, have dinner, we open gifts, and then everybody just hangs out for a while. We do puzzles and all that, and it's just fun. We just have a blast. And, uh, oh, and let me tell you, so my husband and I, we went to TJ Maxx yesterday. No, Home Goods, Home Goods. Okay, I'm going to trim this off just to fit my little white piece here. I'm going to trim. I want to make sure that I'm going to get that good. Okay, that looks good. I like that. But I went to TJ Maxx or Home Goods and TJ Maxx yesterday, and they had a Monopoly game that's Elf. You know, with Will Ferrell. Y'all, I had to get it. I had to get it. So I'm going to have a table out for anybody that wants to play that. It will be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Okay. Now that I've got the base on my card, isn't that really pretty? Look at that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my, I want to put my Santa, kind of, I want to just kind of lay out things where I want to put it. And I went and dig through like my ephemera pieces. And I've got these right here. It's like chit chat. These are doodle, doodle bug design. And these are from, these are from the night before Christmas, I believe. So right here, night before Christmas. Um, so anyway, I kind of dig out um, so a few things out of here. And I really like this big Santa. I really think it's cute. And then I thought it would be nice. This one was in it too. Excuse the inky hands. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. So I thought I would put this up here. And I think that that would be fun. It would be kind of, I think it would be kind of nice if I added a, wa added a wobble to it. And that way it could move. But let me see. I want to see if I'm going to like that. I think I'm going to foam tape it. I'll wobble next time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, and I think I want this about in the center of my card. And y'all, do not overthink your cards. Just go with it, Just and it's going to look beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to glue this one. 
Okay. And add glue. You want to make sure you get it all down. Where it stays. So that is what we will do on Christmas Eve. On Christmas Day, my husband and I, we don't know what we're going to do. Our kids will be with their other families so and their children. So I think I'm going to add this about right here in the center. So if you have um, some old cards or whatever, and I know I'm just jumping all over the place from my story to cards to whatever. Um, if you have some old cards, take them out and cut it up. Cut up the pretty part that you like. And I love this red sand and I know it kind of blends a little bit with, with um, the background, but I really do like it. I want to use it and I want this up here. And so I'm thinking I'm going to foam tape this and I'm going to add that on there. And then the greeting that was inside, I'm going to use the greeting. Why not? Okay. So anyway, it will be a party in my house. Let me just tell you one year, one year, um, one of my grandsons, he wanted a Nerf gun. So then the other one wants a Nerf gun. And so we ended up buying Okay, so we bought my three grandsons a Nerf gun. We bought my granddaughter a Nerf gun. And um, for my son-in-law, uh, we had went to Bed Bath & Beyond, I think, or something. And they had a marshmallow gun. So we bought the marshmallow gun for one of my son-in-laws and my other son-in-law. We actually, okay, so I've added my foam tape. So my other son-in-law, we got him the spitball and you put spitballs in it it was hilarious we and then my husband got one he went in there and got his nerf gun and then went had seen it and he got the big one and he came out and it was literally the war of nerf in our house it was so much fun i didn't get it for my daughter or my 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 two daughters okay i think i think i'll put this right here okay like that see look at that and see how that background just kind of changed everything so nicely. But anyway, I, we, we just had a blast. It was just a blast. I mean, our grandkids, they just had so much fun. They really did. We just try so hard just to have fun with them. I'm thinking of layering this up and then cutting it out. So I want to do the heart Santa, like love Santa. And I think I'm going to do that just like, like about this. So I'm going to go ahead. It's the only one I've got. So here I go. I'm going to put this on here and then I'm just going to cut it out. Hold on. I got to see about a piece of putting it on red first. Y'all, I'm in the mood to layer up tonight, so let me move this. Okay, so I'm gonna, since it's got a white background, I'm gonna, or since, since it's like it's the white in the back, I think it would be good with the red. Let me just see how that's gonna do. I'm just gonna do it like this. So I'm gonna get it on. But anyway, we had a great time. We really did. You're, if you, if you're probably going, are you ever going to just finish a story? <laughs> Y'all, whenever you craft, I just think about things. And I saw a video of my mama today that showed up in my memories on Facebook. I love it when my memories show up with my mom and dad on there. And I was like, mom, you going to eat that lemon? And she's like, I already ate it. My mama used to love to eat the lemons and the peel and the whole nine yards. Okay, so I think I'm gonna see about cutting. I'm gonna cut any of my letters off. I'm just gonna cut and then I might have to fussy cut. Because 
yeah, I'm going to have to fussy cut it. I'm wondering if I shouldn't have even did this. Let's see if I can get it off, y'all. Sometimes we crafters change our mind. Okay, I can't take it off. But I'm still going to fussy cut it. I could have just skipped that part. And do what you want, y'all. <sighs> but yes, I love my memories that pop up on Facebook. Because then... Because I have so many memories of my mom and dad. And it just makes my heart so happy. Whenever I see them. And today was just my mama. And the TV was blaring. And I was like, Mom, you, you going to eat more lemons? And she goes, no. And she wouldn't look at me. She was too busy watching her TV. And it's really funny about the TV. When I was younger... My parents accepted Christ into their heart and became Christians. We didn't have a television for a long time when I was a kid. So I didn't really watch, get to watch much TV. And um, now, you know, my parents, that was pretty much when we were in there visiting them. That was their entertainment, actually. So, but, you know, it's all good. Sometimes TV warps our brain. Okay, I'm going to get this off. And actually, I kind of like this red on here. Okay. I'm going to finish fussy cutting this. We're going to get it on. I kind of like it with the extra red behind it. Kind of like it offsets it. So thank you everyone that watched my video the other day about I wished I would have known what I, what I know now about sublimation. And, um, you know, sublimation is not for everyone. Like I said, I like to dabble in all kinds of different crafts. And um, there are some people saying, I've been wanting to learn about this. And there's some people that already do it. They gave me some super advice. Okay. There, I like that with the background. That looks good. Um, but anyway, yeah. Okay, so I like the love Santa. And I'm just going to put it off here. Like this. And I'm thinking I probably should put some foam tape underneath. So I'm going to add my foam tape. Just some bits and pieces here. Should have brought out my foam squares. But I'm just going to go with this. And see how it turns out. I love the background. The Holly Jolly it really has changed this whole card. And um, I hope you're still with me. I know with all my jabber jabbering. But sometimes when we make cards, we got to just take our time. And I've got just some simple cards. This doesn't require you to have any cutting machines. So no cutting machines. And just, just make cards out of old cards. Pull out your cards. Fussy cut them. Die cut them. Do whatever you want to do. And I do have a video where I die cut it old cards and just saved them. And um, that works out great. Okay, so just going to get this off. And go. So now this will be my third card. I need to step it up. It's already the 12th of December. But y'all, life gets so busy. And um, so... I'm going to get all these cards. I promise. Okay, I'm going to add this. And I want to add this down here. And look at that. I love it. You, I took an old card. So simple. And y'all, you're going to be surprised. I'm not even going to add a jimmy. I don't think I need it. Now, if you had some glitter, you could glitter his beard. Maybe go glitter some. Uh, put some glitter on the little berries that would be good maybe glitter put red glitter on the candy cane if you would like but I think he's darling I love him and I love the background just super cute and simple now on the inside I'm going to take one of these 
cards that were inside because these are just flat cards so they're just this is what's in there so i'm just going to put it up inside so we have a nice way for our greeting so let me add tape so i hope that you can leave me a comment below and let me know some of your christmas traditions what do you do do you celebrate christmas with your family on Christmas Eve. Do you have certain things you do? Do you, you know, we always, I mean, my grandkids come over. We always, I mean, usually I have a puzzle. Last year I put a puzzle on my coffee table and when all my kids started getting there, literally it was long and the puzzle was completed and they were so proud and they all did it together and it was just great, you know? So, okay. So there we go. And I am going to utilize the greeting. So I think I'll use the greeting and I'm just gonna put it in here. So let me cut this one. I'm just gonna cut it up. And then I think it will be cute. Or if you'd like to stamp it, you can stamp it and not even use a greeting. But this is a way to use the greeting that's inside too. It goes with the picture, but you've revamped your card. So pull out your old cards. And I'm just gonna add this in the center. And let me grab, just grab a red. I'm just gonna add some tape. Go for it. Just a simple greeting. That way then we can, you have place to write to whoever you're sending it to. So you can just add this in. And I'm just gonna add some tape. I'm just gonna put it right here in the center. Let's make sure it's nice and straight. And just super simple, y'all. Simple, simple, simple. I have an extra little heart over here. Maybe I'll put it down in the corner. Yeah. I'll put it in the corner. Why not? So decorate these up any way you want. You don't have to be extra fancy. You don't have to have tons of supplies. Pull out some paper, pull out your glue or your tape, and pull out old Christmas cards and just decorate yourself a card. And y'all, let's look at the before and after. There we go, before and after. I love it and I love the background, it's so cute. So if you don't have stencils, just add paper, just do whatever. But vamp up your old flimsy cards and make it into a nice, beautiful, uh, more well-made card. And it's a little bit more inviting. You could take and put some twine going on the edge. I got some twine over here. Let me see if I'd like that. You just need to play with it. Yeah, I kind of like that. It just kind of gives it something. And I like to kind of bring it down on the front if you like, or you can leave it off or use washi tape, whatever you like. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys have a great evening and thank you so much for stopping by my channel for a sweet and simple card that you can make out of old Christmas cards. I hope you enjoy this and I will talk you talk to you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.